Subansri Lower Hydroelectric Project, largest hydro venture of the country, is passing through rough weather as its work is under forced suspension since December 2011 due to agitation by section of stakeholders on grounds of safety related aspects and downstream effect. Huge losses are occurring on account of idling of men and machineries, IDC and escalation of cost of balance work besides generation loss. Concerns for the safety of dam in the seismic environment of the northeast are understandable. However, aspects related to safety have again been re-examined. While seismic design parameter has been established as conservative enough requiring no revision, innovative and additional safety measures have been suggested that will ensure satisfactory performance of the dam on a long term. Subansri Lower Project is planned for providing flood cushion during monsoon at cost of energy by operating its reservoir at low level. As such, Assam will be benefited from project as reservoir operation is primarily for flood attenuation or moderation during monsoon period, which otherwise would have been used for power generation. Irrigation project in downstream, which is in domain of government of Assam, can be planned and executed for which Subansi Lower Dam is a prerequisite. Navigation and tourism in downstream will also be added advantages generating avenues for income to downstream population. Thus, even though it is being implemented as a hydroelectric project, Subansi Lower Project in fact characteristically is a multipurpose project. Project overview is as follows. Subansi Lower Hydroelectric Project is first of cascaded dams on Subansri River, primarily for hydropower with flood cushion of 442 million cubic meter between elevation EL190 meter to full reservoir level that is FRL at elevation EL205 meter by keeping reservoir level at elevation EL190 meter during monsoon months. To attenuate the flood, and is also designed to moderate flood with integrated operation of proposed middle and upper projects. It is the largest hydro project under construction in country having installed capacity of 2000 megawatts and the annual generation of 7421.59 million units. In its original proposal that was in 1983 incorporated in the master plan, Brahmaputra board envisaged a construction of a 257 meter high rock fill dam at Gerukamuk on Subansri which could not be pursued because of objection from Arunachal Pradesh due to likely submergence of some important towns like Daporejo, Damporejo, Tamain and few small villages. Later, Brahmaputra board decided in July 1995 to take up investigations of an alternate proposal which included 272 meter revised 213 meter high dam in the upstream of Tamain on river Kamla with an installed capacity of 1600 megawatts. So Bansri middle project 272 meter revised 265 meter high dam at Menga upstream of Daporejo on river Subansri with installed capacity of 2000 megawatt Subansri upper project and 116 meter high dam already investigated for 257 meter high dam at Geruka Muk on river Subansri with an installed capacity of 2000 megawatt Subansri lower project. Subsequently, in the year 2000, on direction of Ministry of Water Resources, Government of India, projects of Subansri and Siang Basin were handed over by Brahmaputra board to NHPC for DPR preparation and in the year 2002, Ministry of Power conveyed the approval of Government of India to NHPC to establish, operate and maintain the Subansri Lower Hydroelectric Project 2000 MW in Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. Accordingly, the DPR was prepared by NHPC as per the revised master plan undertaken by Brahmaputra Board with the lower dam at Gerukamuk and construction started in 2005 after requisite mandatory clearances. 
three major issues have been broadly raised concerning the construction of the Subansri Lower Hydro Project. First, the dam design is not fully safe from the earthquake point of view, geological aspect and foundation strength. Second, the downstream effects of the project have not been fully addressed. Third, effect on the environment and related capacity for sustenance of multiple projects in the Brahmaputra Basin are not being addressed. Resolutions of Issues Based on reports of expert group and other various committees, issues have been resolved to satisfy the recommendations of respective report for each issue. A. Dam Design To ensure that the dam design is fully safe from possible earthquakes, geological aspects and foundation related aspects, the dam design needs to take care of three key factors. First, seismological factors to be taken care of by required design features of the dam. Second, geological factors to be taken care of by special foundation features of the dam. Third, hydrological factors adequate spillway discharging capacity for passing possible maximum flood that is PMF. First, seismological factors. The important seismological factors required to be addressed are magnitude of possible earthquakes on the Richter scale and the peak ground acceleration that is PGA of the affected mass of the earth caused by a given earthquake of a specified possible magnitude. Major earthquakes in Indian subcontinent have been of the order of magnitude of 8.4 to 8.7 Richter. Importantly, the focus or the depth that is the point of origin of the earthquake from the surface has ranged between 20 kilometers to 40 kilometers. Even all over the world, the earthquakes ranging between 8.5 to 9.5 magnitude have originated at a depth not less than 20 kilometers. This is because unless there is sufficient volume of rock mass, that is adequate rupture width, rupture length and thickness or depth is involved, required magnitude cannot be generated. Hence, it can be safely concluded that earthquake of 8.5 magnitude cannot occur at a shallow depth of merely 10 kilometers because such depth cannot sustain the large stress accumulations and may release energy much before in terms of lower magnitude. Based on National Council of Seismic Design Parameter that is NCSDP's approval, dam has been designed to withstand earthquakes for PGA value of 0.38 G. This implies that the dam can withstand an earthquake of up to 8.5 Richter as per global recorded evidence and physics laws as well as nature of Earth's strata.